Thank you for choosing the PureDrop RTW5 Series Reverse Osmosis System. With proper installation and maintenance, this water filtration system will provide clean drinking water for years to come. Please follow the instructions in the video for proper installation procedures. Before we start, please ensure your water pressure is 40 PSI or above. Otherwise, an additional booster pump is recommended to boost the water pressure. If your water pressure exceeds 80 PSI, a pressure regulator may be needed to reduce the water pressure. The system is for cold water only. The operating temperature ranges from 40 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. The system requires drilling a quarter inch hole into the under sink drain pipe for wastewater. The system may require drilling a half inch hole into the sink or countertop for faucet insulation. Carefully read the owner's manual and check that all parts were included in the package. Ensure you have all the required tools ready. Installation Feed Water Adapter For under sink use, please clean out the space before installation. The feed water adapter fits 3 8 inch connectors. If you have a different size fitting, you will need a converter. Step 1. Turn off the cold water valve under the sink and turn on the faucet to drain out any air and water. Step 2. Disconnect the faucet connector hose. Be prepared to catch any excess water from the hose with a towel. Step 3. Please ensure the O-ring is seated properly inside the adapter to prevent leaks. Install the feed water adapter to the valve and tighten it with a wrench. Step 4. Reinstall the faucet connector hose to the feed water adapter and tighten it with a wrench. Step 5. Turn the feed water valve to the off position. Connect the red tubing to the adapter and ensure you have enough tubing length for future maintenance. Measure and cut the tube. Installation Drinking Water Faucet Choose a suitable flat surface on the sink or countertop to install the drinking faucet. If your kitchen sink does not have a pre-existing hole, you will need to drill one, half inch to one and a half inch diameter. A faucet bracket is recommended if there is no available sinkhole. Step 1. Clean and dry the area. Step 2. Slip the front plate and then the rubber washer into the faucet stem. Step 3. Insert the faucet into the sinkhole. Step 4. From under the sink, slip the back plate and a metal washer into the faucet stem followed by the wing nut. Tighten the nut to secure it. Step 5. Insert the Quick Connect coupling to the faucet stem. Insert the blue tubing into the Quick Connect coupling half an inch deep, then insert a collet to lock the tubing in place. Measure and cut the tubing. Leave enough tubing length for future maintenance. Installation Drain Saddle Choose a spot on the drain pipe convenient for installing the drain saddle and tubing. A horizontal pipe is recommended to minimize the dripping sound. Do not install it after the P-trap to prevent potential microorganism growth. Step 1. Drill a quarter inch hole into the drain pipe. Paste the seal pad around the hole to prevent leaks. Step 2. Cut the end of the white tubing tip to create a 45 degree angle. Unscrew the nut and insert the tubing through the drain saddle to the drain pipe. Reinstall the nut. Step 3. Install the back plate and tighten the two screws with hex nuts. Pull the tubing lightly to ensure it is secure. Installation Tank Valve Ensure the O-ring is seated correctly inside the tank valve to prevent leaks. Step 1. Screw the tank valve to the water storage tank. Do not over-tighten. Step 2. Insert the yellow tubing half an inch deep into the tank valve. Step 3. Lock the tubing in place by inserting the collet. Ensure the tank valve is in the closed position. Installation Vertical Filters 
Step 1. Take out and unwrap the first, second, and third stage filters. Insert the filters into vertical filter housings and ensure the housing double O-rings and filter O-rings are properly seated to prevent leaks. Step 2. Twist the housings counterclockwise onto the housing caps. Using the housing wrench, tighten the housing with another quarter to half of a turn. Do not over-tighten, as this can cause leaks and make future filter replacement difficult. Installation Reverse Osmosis Membrane Step 1. Disconnect the tubing from the quick-fitting connection on the membrane housing cap. Unscrew the cap by turning it counterclockwise using the housing wrench. Step 2. Insert the membrane into the housing and ensure the membrane is seated flush with the housing. Step 3. Check that the membrane housing O-ring and housing cap O-ring are seated properly. Screw the cap back onto the housing. Use the housing wrench to tighten the cap with another quarter to half turn of the wrench. Do not over-tighten, as this can cause leaks and make future filter replacements difficult. System Connections Red tubing. Connect source water from the feed water adapter to the first stage water inlet elbow fitting. White tubing. Connect the wastewater tube from the drain saddle to the flow restrictor. Yellow tubing. Connect the tube from the tank valve to the T fitting on the post carbon filter inlet. Blue tubing. Connect the final stage filter to the drinking water faucet. Lock all tubes in place with collets. Neatly organized tubing is recommended, but ensure you leave enough tubing length for future maintenance and filter replacement. System Startup Step 1. Open the feed water valve and the cold water valve to flush the first three-stage filters. Water will flush out from the tube disconnected from the membrane housing cap. Use a bucket to catch the water. Let the water run for a few minutes or until clear. Step 2. Once the water is clear, shut off the feed water valve and reconnect the tube to the membrane housing cap. Please use this method to pre-flush vertical filters when replacing them. Step 3. Open the drinking water faucet. Slowly open the feed water valve and check for leaks. Fix all leaks before proceeding to the next step. Step 4. The filtered water will slowly trickle from the faucet within minutes. Let the faucet trickle for at least 15 minutes to flush the entire system. The water may appear black at first due to loose carbon from new carbon filters. It will eventually turn clear, apart from many tiny air bubbles leaving the system. Step 5. Shut off the drinking water faucet. Open the tank valve. Wait for the tank to fill up completely. This will take 1 to 2 hours, depending on your water pressure, temperature, and quality. Step 6. After the tank is full, open the drinking water faucet to drain the tank completely. Do not use the first tank of water. Let it drain into the sink until the stream turns back to a trickle, then close the drinking water faucet. The water storage tank will start to fill again. If your system has a UV filter, plug in the UV power and check to ensure the UV light turns on when water flows through it. This is because the UV filter has a flow sensor switch that detects water flow and only turns the light on when needed. Check for leaks daily for the first two weeks after installation to ensure the system is functioning properly. Installing a flood alarm to provide additional protection is recommended. The installation is complete. You can now enjoy purified, clean water from home. Please refer to the user's manual or contact us if you have questions. Thank you.